Hello everyone, welcome to an inventory guide for Zombies in Spaceland. I'm Violent, I'll be your guide. We're going to be collecting three different parts to make this wonder weapon. It's an energy pistol called the Shredder. The buildable spot is located downstairs in the corridor area. I don't really have a name for it. It's next to Racing Stripes in that area. Um, right towards the entrance is where you build it. I'll show you that. But the first thing we're going to do is head into the projector room. And in here we're going to have to release the ships. At least that's what we're calling it. They're these little portable spaceships that go around the map in certain places. And we believe that each one of these holds a pistol upgrade of some sort to maybe a new wonder weapon each time remains to be seen. But we're moving along here. And the best way to uh, get credits, I mean tickets, is to just use the two machines there. The Devil's Teeth and the Basketball Machine go back and forth. And in about two rounds, you should have about 600 tickets. Now we're going to need to get an Arcane Core. It costs 300 tickets. I always buy the Oni. This thing lasts me until like round 20. No joke. I don't even have to pack a punch it. I did say 600 tickets for the reason that the next 300 we're going to spend is in the arcade. We're actually going to buy the gold teeth that's here on the left side. So when we pick that up, we're going to use that later on. Okay, so I usually buy those at the same time. Souvenir station. You're going to need three red coins that you're going to need to put in. You can get these at any time. And this is not the souvenir station, though, that you need to be at. I was just showing you an example of something wrong, so that way you won't make the same mistakes I did when I was in the game. This literally took me quite some time to figure out. You go over to this souvenir station, right over here, and you put in three red coins, and you're going to see that the alien doll is in there, right? It's the only one that it's inside, and that's where we're going to pick it up by putting three red coins in. You see that I had all three parts there. We can do this out of order. Okay, so next to the fountain area, there's a boat that goes by. On the back side, there's a battery. You're going to have to shoot that off the boat. You'll see that it's gone. And then what that's going to do is it's going to show up in the fountains, squirting up in the water. And so you're going to have to go over there and pick it up. Now, part of the issue here is got to be on it or it will vanish. And it's not a one-time shot. It keeps popping up and going back down. So if you miss it the first time, just stand next to one and you'll eventually be able to pick it up. Here's what it looks like when you pick it up. That's the battery. Okay, so now we got two out of three parts and we're going to work on the last part. Now this part requires a few more steps than the others, but pay attention. We're going to need to get a herd of zombies, hoard them over here, and uh, basically get them in the trap. So you activate the chromosphere and it sucks them right up. What that's doing is that ship that we had initially was floating around behind the chromosphere. What we're doing by filling it up is changing the directional path of the ship. Now it's going to go around and around, but you got to use the weapon with the arcane core, otherwise you will not fill it with souls. At the same time, you're going to encounter a brute. When you bring him through this trap, he'll break the teeth on the alligator, and that's what you want. Because we picked up the gold teeth, and now we can place them right there, and it will replace the broken teeth up top, and that will reveal the machine that's in the back. Now that machine is what we're going to be paying attention to next, okay? So the pistol with the arcane core, we have to upgrade the pistol, right? So this is how you upgrade it to the elemental fire. And you basically fill this ship with souls that's going around and it will drop this part eventually. And that part is the actual fire upgrade. And that gives you the upgrade for the pistol. So what do we do now that we have the upgraded pistol? We have to take it one step further in order to get the shredder wonder weapon, okay? so. We have one more part that we have to collect, and we have all everything in place, so we shoot this off in the machine, and we're able to pick up the gem. Okay, so now that we got the gem, we have all three parts, and that's basically how you get all three parts. So we're going to head down back downstairs in the corridor area by racing stripes, like I said, and there's a cardboard cutout. We're going to place all three parts inside, and that will finish the build for the Shredder Energy Wonder Weapon. Then we'll be able to pick that up and use it. Now this thing is awesome, okay? It does do a lot of damage, but it's very unpredictable. So that's what I'm gonna give you, okay? So in my honest opinion, this wonder weapon does take a lot of work to get. So I would recommend that you distribute it properly. So if someone gets one of the wonder weapons, the other person will get a different wonder weapon because it's kind of a quest to get this done during your match, okay? So I hope you guys learned something. Drop a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Filing out.